curious as somebody who knows Kenny so well from from your days in Brooklyn, just how similar did today feel um, compared to to what you remember from the Brooklyn days? Honestly, that was so long ago. Um, but I mean, Kenny's the same person. He's very passionate about um, getting better. Um, he's very intentional about practice. Um, so those things are consistent with him for sure. Um, but like I said, that was so long ago. I don't even remember how training camp was back then. You know, I think so many people look at Kenny as more of an offensive-minded coach. And the first thing that he has said is we're going to tap into the defensive identity that's all right here. What are your thoughts on that? Yeah, that was the first thing we worked on today. It's the first part of film that we watched was um, defense, defensive transition. Um, he knows that's the strength of our group. Um, and obviously, we want to keep that going forward. That's what's made it special over the past couple years. How do you make sure that you maintain that with, with a new coach and maybe perhaps a new offensive style that – Pushes the pace a little more, spreads it out a little more, all that kind of stuff. I think staying consistent with our habits, um, the things that we do every day, the, the spots that we know. Um, I think our defense will be very similar to how it's been in the past. Um, but I think for us, just going out there and building a good habit right now in camp so that they carry over to the games. Are the defensive principles that, that defined you guys for the last couple of years, are they still in place with Kenny, or is he trying to instill new defensive principles? Yeah, a lot of stuff will be the same. There'll be some differences as well. Um, but, you know, with any situation, obviously there's a new coach. There'll be, you know, differences, similarities. Um, but I think right now, obviously, first day at camp, we're still working through some things. Um, what we're doing right now probably won't look like what we're doing in December. It'll probably look different in the playoffs as well. So, As you make tweaks with that come along with having a new head coach, how valuable do you think it is to have as much roster continuity as you guys have from last year? Yeah, it's huge. Um, just knowing the guy that's next to you, um, knowing tendencies, knowing, um, you know, where he's going to be at on the floor. I think all that is huge. And uh, I know the, the group is very confident in our, in our each other, um, and we're glad that we kept the group together. I know it's super early, but are there things that you notice that are different about Kenny as a head coach, like for him the second time that you remember in Brooklyn? I don't know. Um, Kenny used to be uh, a little more animated. Um, but today was still the first day. We haven't played a game yet, you know what I mean? So um, I'm sure it's coming. But, um, I mean, he's the same guy. Like I said, he's very, you know, passionate. He's very um, focused um, on getting better each and every day. So I think that stuff will be the same, very consistent. Just follow up on that. How, do you, how does it feel to reunite with Coach? And how do you see his coaching to help you find consistency and efficiency in your role Yeah. Um first of all I like your your phone case to Michigan. Um yeah. Um but yeah it's good to find some similarities or some continuity with Kenny. Obviously um my first four years in the league was with Kenny. Um I think his first coaching job was my first year in the league. So um we obviously have some similarities with that. Um, but I think we just have good chemistry together. Um, it'll be a fun year. Can you talk about um, having Evan handle the ball more than Chris State? Saying from your perspective, how would that be? Yeah, it's tough. Um, speaking on the defensive side of it, if you've got a seven footer bringing the ball up the floor, um, and you've got three, four shooters surrounded around him, and Evan's a guy who can get in the paint, he can pass, he can pass off the dribble, um, he can finish at the rim. So it just switches it up. You know, when you have different ball handlers, it's hard to guard. What will it take for you guys as a team to take that next step? I think a lot of it is health. Um, and a lot of health is honestly luck. You know, being healthy at the right time is huge. Um, I think last year we ran into a little bit of bad luck. But um, I think you can control that a little bit. Your habits each and every day, how much you're putting in the weight room, uh, monitoring how much you're doing on the court, um, slash games. So I think that's a big part of it. Um, habits every day, before practice, after practice, um, sleep habits. It's the little things, really. It's not what everyone thinks. You know what I mean? Um, I think the little things get you over the top. Did you personally change anything in your off-season regimen? I didn't. I spent a lot of this off-season rehabbing my knee. Um, had a little bit of an injury last year in the playoffs, so um, a lot of it was doing that. Um, but a lot of it was uh, the same now. I'm going on nine years, so um, it's crazy to think about, but um, – I kind of know what it takes for my body at this point. Do you feel like you're feeling healthy? I do. Yeah, yeah, I feel great right now. At what point did someone feel like you're Honestly, it was about two, three weeks ago. 
Oh, yeah. Yeah. It was a, uh, it was a tough kind of up and down, you know, anyone who's dealt with like a knee injury or anything like that. Um, you have good days, bad days, good weeks, bad weeks. So, um, it was kind of up and down, but I would say about two, three weeks ago, I started to feel consistently good every single day. What was the injury designation? It wasn't like a specific injury. Um, it's just kind of where it's here, getting a little bit older. Um, Nine years. Ago. Exactly. It kind of just happens. You know what I mean? Ethan. Karis, we talked to Jalen Tyson a little bit yesterday. He mentioned how he's kind of leaned on you a little bit more when after a summer league, trying to figure out his role on this team. What kind of advice have you given to him and what have you seen from him early on in training camp? Um, Jalen knows how to play the game. You know what I mean? He's uh, very smart. Um, he knows what spots to be in offensively, defensively. Um, and he's very eager to learn. You know what I mean? Uh, he's played a lot of basketball. I didn't even know he was 21. I, th I would thought he was 24 or 25, the way that he kind of handles himself and knows where to be. Um, but I think he uh, he has a lot of upside. A lot of Cavs fans are going to be excited when they see him play. Um, I think he fits right into what we do. He's got a lot of confidence and a lot of just grit and determination. Kenny said that he's going to find a way. Uh, how have you seen him kind of work within this offense, within the defense, and how hungry he is to get onto the court with you guys? Yeah, like I said, he's really smart. He knows where to be out on the floor. He knows um, how to kind of change roles with who he's on the floor with. Um, and I think that's a valuable asset to have, especially on this team. You have so many talented players. Um, and I think he just understands who he is as a player. And that's a super underrated trait. James. Hey, Levert, I hope you and everyone uh, with the Cavs are well. Talk a little bit about this team. Uh, a lot of talent. You've played in Brooklyn. You've played in Indiana. You know what it takes to win. And, and just talk a little bit about helping Cleveland win games this year. This is a good team. Yeah, this is one of the deeper teams I've been on, um, been a part of. Um, one through 15, 16, I think every guy could play and could, you know, um, make a meaningful impact on the team, on the court at any given time. So I think for this team, it's important to stay ready. But at the same time, you guys got to sacrifice. Um, like any good winning situation, you have to sacrifice. You got to have guys, um, you know, willing to say, OK, tonight's not my night. Um, and then when it is your time to be called, you got to be ready to step into that role. So. Um, I think we have that that sort of team, um, and it'll be fun to go through this journey. Harris, what would you like to give this team personally to help making shots, playing good defense, defending, running the floor? What would you like to give this club? Yeah, I think you said it, just all of that versatility. Um, I think that's my greatest asset, um, especially for this team, um, who has so many um, really good players who do a lot of good things. Um, I think I fit right into that just – um, you know, might be passing one day, might be defense. I might have to, you know, be on the opposing um, guy's best player. Um, it might be scoring one night. So uh, I think I can just bring all of that to the table. All right. Thank you. Yeah. Go with our last two, uh, Evan on Zoom and then here in person with Chris. Hey, Karis. I hope you're doing well. Um, heading into this season, you've stressed this in the past, but knowing what your role is going to be with this team has always been like a big thing for you just because you like that level of consistency. Has Kenny kind of keyed you in on, okay, we want you to continue to be the sixth man, or is there going to be a little bit of a shakeup on what your role, what your expected responsibilities are as a player this year? Yeah, at this point, it's still super early, um, but I expect to kind of still be in that similar role as I was last year, um, kind of giving us a boost off the bench. Um, pretty comfortable in that role as well. Um, it really took pride in it last year, so uh, I think that'll be it this year. But like I said, it's still day one. It's still early in the season. A lot of things happen. And you had talked about Jalen Tyson a little bit. Um, what has stood out to you about him, about his game just on the court when you watch him play and just practicing with him? I think uh, for one, his versatility. Um, he can do a lot of really good things well. Um, and then I think just knowing how to play. I think when you come out of college, the college game is so different from the NBA game. Um, and there's tweaks offensively and defensively. And I think right now he's at a spot where um, he kind of knows where to be at. Um, and that's super rare for a young guy to come in, um, especially going from being top scorer on his team to not being that on this team. Um, I think he's kind of seamlessly fit into what he's going to be for our team this year. 
Chris, Chris you mentioned the depth piece, and, and Kenny said that's one of the strengths of the team as well. How do you make sure that you take advantage of that maybe in a way that, that hasn't been there? Yeah, I think uh, that's up to coach. You know what I mean? It's our job to stay ready. Um, it's our job to, you know, perform when we're in those moments. Um, but, I mean, that's, I think, every coach's, you know, dream. Uh, it's a blessing and a curse, really. It's like, okay, you got the guys, but how do I get them all on the floor? How do I get them to play together? Um, so, you know, like I said, for us, it's just, you know, be ready, stay ready, be ready for the moment. Okay.